أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ولا عقبة للمتقين ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك وسلم ربي يسر ولا تعسر وتممنا بالخير يا فتاح يا عليم Beloved uh, viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, I greet you all with the greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with each and every one of you. There is this very beautiful incident that we will find in the prophetic tradition of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam, when he mentioned to the woman, uh, a sabr in the sadmat al Patience should be at the first state of um, uh, first state of ibtila and trial. The Prophet wasallam one day he saw a woman weeping and crying at the gravesite because of the loss of her son. The Prophet wasallam thereafter advised her uh, to basically um, desist from crying extensively. Not knowing that it was the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, she said to him that you do not know what I experience in my life and what I have lost in simple words. The Prophet walked away and thereafter the woman realized that it was the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. The Prophet wasallam thereafter said to her, As-sabr in the sadmatul ula, that at the time of trials and tribulation, at the first state of trials when you are tested with trials and tribulations in your life that you need to adorn yourself with patience. I share with you this incident because many of us experience hardship in one way or the other. The Ummah in its entirety if we are to analyze what's happening in the Islamic world where people rights are trampled upon and when people uh, transgress against their fellow brothers and sisters of the same faith or outside of the faith. That we have to understand that this concept of ibtila and trials. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, and this world is a, going to be for us a place of trials and tribulations. But it is not the trials and tribulations that we talk about. But how do we react to these trials and tribulations? How do we react to the time of Ibtila? We agree unanimously that we will face trials, but the difference will be how do we react to these trials and tribulations? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us and He informs us about this. He says, reaction to trials and tribulations, the first important component is to understand that God Almighty is the one that place you in this predicament. So as you are in this blessed month of Ramadan and we may try to find some sort of comfort in this month in whatever life challenges that you are experiencing that you have to understand that God Almighty is the one that place you into this predicament and this trial and He is the one that will basically Take you out of this predicament. So connect yourself to Allah. Connect yourself to the divine in good times and in bad times. And that is what Allah says. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ When a calamity strikes you and calamity is not confined to death, calamity in any form, when it strikes you, subhanAllah, you acknowledge, you say to yourself that you come from God and, and we will have to return back to God. God place you in this predicament and He can take you out of this predicament or He can console you through this predicament. He can make it easy for you during this time of trials. So build a bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Connect yourself and that is why you have the concept in Islam, a tawakkul. A tawakkul actually means putting your reliance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, Inna Allah yuhibbul mutawakkilin. That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves for surely Allah. Definitely Allah loves those who put 
their reliance on Him in their good times and in their times of trials and tribulations. The second point that you should understand when it comes to patience and when it comes to ibtila and trials that not all ibtila and trials that you experience is a punishment from God. This is, uh, sometimes people feel this way. They have this thinking process when they're going through a hard time or they're in a low point in their life, when they're in this tough moment, that this is a curse from God. And we have to change the way we think in terms of this concept. That type of philosophy is not an Islamic philosophy, but rather life challenges that we experience. It is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us, that He wants us to turn to Him. When we're in the lowest point in our lives, when we're at that low point in our lives, what we have to do is to understand we can reach to higher ranks through that lower points. When we look up, we see the divine. When we get up, we come up with more strength. Think about it in this very beautiful way. When you are lying down, it exerts energy for you to come up. But when you are up, you become energetic. When you are at that low point and it exerts a lot of strength for you to come up and you find it tedious, you have to have dedication, commitment. You have to be patient, especially if there is hardship for you to stand on your feet. But you would have gone through those phases, inshallah, and then you will see the result of it, inshallah. So in simple words, in very simple words that we want to share with you, that God God placed trials in your way because He loves you, because out of this trial will bore something that is very beautiful for you, that will be an asset for you, and inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you this strength. So we ask for strength, and God placed trials in our way, because through those trials we will gain our strength. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us immensely, and grant us goodness in this life, and the life to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.